Welcome to Let's Build a Wheelie's Jeep. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install your accelerator linkage that will attach to your carburetor. So when you give your pedal gas, it'll pull on this lever and it will send fuel into your carburetor and make your Jeep go faster. And when you push your accelerator pedal, it will be linked to this part on your pedal, which will drive your carburetor through this linkage. Now going over all the different components for this installation, this right here is your accelerator linkage cross shaft. This will be attached directly to your engine block on the back side back in here, and it can be installed when the engine is in place and installed. This right here is just your cross shaft and your mounting plate. There is just a washer and a spring and a washer then you push your cross shaft through your mounting plate then attach our washer on the back side and then put in a cotter pin and bend both ways to secure and you'll also have to install two quarter inch by half inch long bolts with lock washer through your mounting plate and then that will be threaded straight into the back side of your engine block now this right here is your accelerator linkage throttle rod assembly and this rod assembly will attach directly to your accelerator cross shaft and to your accelerator pedal and when you pull on this it will transfer power between all the different components to the end result of pulling on your carburetor and that will allow more fuel to enter and air and that will make your engine go faster. The first step we have to do is assemble our accelerator throttle rod assembly. And to do so, we have our rod. We're gonna put on our nut. I put on about three quarters of the way onto your threads. Next, put on your L bracket and you wanna install your L bracket facing this direction or the longer end towards the hook on your rod and then we'll have it so the shorter end goes through your rod and the longer end goes downwards and this is where your spring will connect in this small hole just push it on and finally you have to put on our little end and this end connects directly to your cross shaft and we'll just thread this on all the way until it gets up to the other nut Now it is time to install our accelerator linkage carburetor spring tab onto the stud of our carburetor and the stud attaches your carburetor to your manifold. So it's important that we get on our spring tab before we tighten down our carburetor fully. And to do so, all you have to do is orientate it this direction. So the angle pointing upwards and the bigger hole will attach to the stud and this is where the spring will go and it will just be pushed on to your stud as so and now we can tighten up our nut install the spring tab as so so that your spring tab is 90 degrees with your engine block and your two holes are in line and your spring tab is directly facing towards your firewall and just tighten your nuts up now. Tighten the nut up, just hand tighten, as there really are no torque specs to tightening your carburetor to the manifold. And just tighten them so your gasket compresses. Just tighten them evenly on both sides. Next, we have to install our accelerator cross shaft onto the back side of the engine, and it'll be orientated in this direction. And we'll thread it through these holes to the engine block, and that will be on the back side. It'll be hard to show but just find the two holes that are on the back side of your engine block, align it this direction and just thread it into these holes and we'll just hand tighten these bolts. The accelerator linkage cross shaft is attached to the back of your engine block as so. Just going over your accelerator pedal in case you have to build your pedal, there is your bracket, there's a pin that secures your bracket to your pedal and there's a cotter pin to hold everything together. Cotter pin is secured on the round portion of your accelerator pedal. 
It's very important that we also install our treadle hinge spring. This will make it easier when you put your foot on the pedal and put more even pressure on your pedal when you push it. And the spring is actually just pretty simple. The spring has a long end and a short end. The short end will go towards your bracket. A long end will go towards your pedal. And it kind of slides on like that. Push it on. And that's all there is to it. And now we can put our two screws in to the tub. Your accelerator pedal will be installed into these two small holes right here. And your part that will attach to your link gauge will go through the upper hole located up on the tub up there. And we'll just get this secured. Using two flathead bolts with a nut lock washer and just a washer, this will be used to secure your accelerator pedal to the tub. The accelerator pedal is now attached securely to the tub. Make sure you don't forget to install your accelerator pedal boot. And now we will push our accelerator pedal through the top hole where we can connect our accelerator pedal to our accelerator linkage cross shaft using a cotter pin through the small hole up here. And we'll just lift it up and we'll now push it all the way through the tub and we'll get on the other side to connect everything together. On the engine side, we will connect the accelerator pedal to our accelerator linkage cross shaft way down there, and we'll just use a cotter pin to secure. Now it is time to install our accelerator linkage rod, and we'll just attach this end to our accelerator linkage cross shaft on this hole up here, and this portion right here will attach directly to your carburetor. So to install it, we will just slide it into that hole and we'll secure with a cotter pin. Now looking at the carburetor, we will attach the accelerator linkage rod to the carburetor open and close valve and we'll just push it through the hole and we'll secure with a cotter pin. Going over where I've used a cotter pin to secure your accelerator linkage, there's a cotter pin right here on your carburetor tab. There's a cotter pin that attaches your rod to your cross shaft. And there's a cotter pin way down there, which attaches your accelerator pedal to your accelerator linkage cross shaft. Finally, we can install our accelerator pedal return spring. And this return spring will go from our carburetor spring tab down here to our accelerator linkage rod on this L bracket facing right here. And to install our spring, we have two size hooks, a small hook and a big hook. The small hook will go attached to our spring tab and hook from underneath the so, and we'll pull our spring to your accelerator linkage rod and we'll hook it from the top, the so. And now you have your return spring now installed but now we have to adjust the tension on our spring. As you can see, the spring has a little bit of tension on it and you wanna ensure a spring has tension. So your accelerator will always pull back and there's always tension pulling back on your valve on your carburetor. The tension that is set up as of right now, if you go over to your driver's side on the floor, we get to our accelerator pedal. And you can see we don't get full range of travel on our accelerator pedal because the uh, boot is interfering with that. So we have to adjust our spring so we allow more travel on our accelerator pedal. To adjust our accelerator linkage rod, we have to remove our spring first. And now we can move this nut all the way back so it puts less tension on the spring. And now we have to pull out our accelerator linkage rod from the carburetor, and then we can spin it forward, and that will bring your whole rod forward. And now we can put it back into the carburetor, and now we can put our spring back on. So, and now there will be a lot more travel on your accelerator pedal. By making that simple adjustment now, your accelerator pedal has a lot more travel now, and now we'll fully open the valve on your carburetor. So when we go over to our carburetor and the linkage, 
Now when you push down on your accelerator pedal, as you can see, you'll get full travel on the valve. It's very critical that we get full travel on the valve when you push down your accelerator pedal so it opens the valve all the way on your carburetor so you get maximum power out of your Jeep. Once you got your throttle rod properly set and it has full travel with your accelerator pedal and a little bit of tension on your spring, we can now tighten down this nut to fully secure our adjustments. Just using a wrench, we will tighten. The very final step is we have to bend all of our cotter pins so everything stays in place. Finally, bend the cotter pin up in all three locations. Our first location is your valve on your carburetor. Then moving up your accelerator linkage rod, we go to the part where it connects to your cross shafts, bend that cotter pin up. And lastly, we go down where your accelerator pedal attaches to your cross shaft. And that's how you install your linkage for your accelerator pedal. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe.